right, let's see what I got here. I got a toy. Just let me just open this. Ah. All right, let's go. Bring out the micro pit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, how come the only one celebrating is me? Ah, God. Gee, easy. Easy with the tape. What's going on? Why do I have this thing right here on the sticker? I just, just want to get this over with. This is a short live stream. First, I got to show you the micro pet. Or in this case, uh... I'll just kind of show you what it looks like so that way you don't see it backwards. Bongo? Bongo? The micro pet's name is Bongo. Forget that. I'm going to call it Ioni. Because Ioni, the bear. Ioni is supposed to be the one from regular life, you know? Jeremy's daughter. Okay, how do you, um, how do you do this? I have not played with micro pets in a long time. I mean, a really, really long time. Where do I begin? First off, I need to say that I used to have micro pets when I was younger. Anyone who hasn't been around in the early 2000s, you're missing out. Micro pets were these little creatures that um, you like click on something and then they make sound or something, I guess. It's not working! Hold on a second. What is this? Ah! Oh. I got it. I got it! It's eyes. They, they started glowing. Wait, is that all I could do? Why, hello there, Ioni. She's she's gonna keep doing that. She's supposed to move on surfaces. Right now, she's just moving on my hand. I paid like what fourteen bucks for this thing, and it was nostalgia lane. Uh, no, not yet. I'm just showing her how it works first. Let's get the micro pets thing in the back. You refer to Bongo as Ioni because she's got the little bit of pink on her ears. Just like yeah, PG. regular life Ioni. They don't have any birds in micro pets, which is kind of disappointing. She's just gonna keep doing this until she stops. Magic voice response system. There's like, there's like a, there's like a whole series of these. Oh man. My phone is about to die. Well, I can't end it um, just yet. I want to see my girl in action. Okay, not that. Ioni! Hey, girl! See, it even makes girl sounds. 
This is if I only was a micro pet. Sally, there's just going to be Ioni. I don't want to do Kuma because he's like a supporting character. I can't do Chad. There's no Possum. There's no Shelby. There's no Dragon. Ioni! See, every time I say something or her name, I know it's Bongo, but you're not going to call her Bongo. You're just going to call her Ioni. I mean... I wish they turned the eyes to be, like, blue instead of red. Because Ioni's pupils are blue. And as you can see, Ioni's... She's... She's got those pink in her ears. And the black nose. So basically, what you're getting is just... Her is a micro pet. I gotta wipe her down with the sanitation wipes as soon as this video is over. And I'm also gonna keep the box. She's gonna keep making sounds. It's sad because the only one is that could be for RL is Ioni. But bears aren't pets. This was 2002, you guys. This is the best thing they could come up with. Me, however, I'm glad that they have the bear. Would it be cool if you had a polar bear as a pet? Ioni's singing. Ioni! Come on, girl. No! Come to me! Ioni! 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 Turn around! Face me! Face me! Come on! She's like, she doesn't know. I already, come on, girl! Come on! 2002, Tomi made in China. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is made in China. The Tomi. They even made the Pokemon toys. I know Hasbro did also, but Tomi also did the Pokemon toys in the late 90s. The micro pets got discontinued. I don't know, maybe decreasing sales. They also did My Little Baby, which we will not talk about. My Little Baby is basically the same thing, but except it's babies instead of animals. Me, since I love animals and I love polar bears. There's a good reason why I got this micro pet. What set is she in? Is she like in series two? Micropets.com. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist anymore. Micropets run, walk, zigzag, turn around over 18 different commands. Micropets ears really move up and down and their eyes light up. This micropet loves to sing to you. Yeah, I only singing. Uh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm giving you more room. <sighs> I'm in my parents' room right now. No programming required. Micronesia. The original micro pet. Mine told me micro pets collect them all. Which one did I have before? Did I have the dog? No, I had Chumsley. I mean, there are some dragons I see here since I see Yuck and Sumo, but they don't really look like dragons. I mean, come on. Those. Those do not look like dragons. They look like reptiles. And Kuda and Bob. Oh, so that's where I came up with Kuda's name. Maybe I had Kuda as a micro pet when I was young. I don't know. But I don't remember having Ioni. I just got her. I ordered her off of eBay a few days ago. And I said, I, I hope she comes today. And she did. A match made. What? Where's the remote control? It's next to the couch. Why? I need it. Okay, you can use it. <laughs> Ioni! Wait! Wait! I wasn't recording yet! Stop! Okay, I was recording, but I wasn't getting you because my mommy was saying something. She's got to be on a table. I don't think she works on carpet. Jeez, Ioni, did you just roar? 
I only just roared. I only wanted you roar. This is gonna freak people out because they're gonna say, why are her eyes red? Don't tell me! It's Tommy's fault! They're the ones that made the toy, not me. If there was gonna be an exact um design like Ioni, its eyes would be blinking blue. But I think it's unlikely that she's gonna do any harm. Just don't play with it at night. Whatever you do, do not play with it at night. Am I gonna get more micro pets? I don't know. I still need to get another Budsy off of Budsies.com, and I gotta get the cutie paluti. Well, I don't even know which one to get. Trashy the turtle or another giant Jeremy from Budsies. Or Ioni, or Shelby, or Grayson. I'm running out of options. I got a picture of her. Okay, okay, I'm moving you, I'm moving you. She wants to move around. Ioni! Hey, how's it going? Behold, Ioni, the micro pet. I ordered her off of eBay a few days ago. Sorry if I sound like a broken record, but somebody just joined. I'm not going to stay that long. I just want to show you guys what she can do. She's just, she's just moving around. She's singing. She just she roared earlier. I don't know why she roared. Great. I got this girl for like 14 bucks on eBay. And they're part of Micro Pets. It's a... Oh, where's the box? Hold on a second. Carlos the Lape. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. How much did it cost? It cost like, uh, like I said, like 14 or $15. Uh, come on, Ioni. It looks terrifying, though. Terrifying? I get maybe you're not, you you may think it's terrifying, but I don't think it's there terrifying. I mean, it's not like it's like nighttime and her eyes are glowing. That's only the, the only problem I have is her eyes are red. All of the micro pets eyes are red. I just wish hers were blue. Yeah, I get it. They're Jeremy colors, but Ioni's pupils are not red. They're blue. I think I I think I've already like stated already that I only got like blue eyes, the glowing red eyes and those sound effects. This is 2002, you guys. You got to take it with a grain of salt. That's why I keep calling her Ioni. She's based on my original character, regular show character that I created. This regular life ABC fan art thing I did the day I ordered the micro pet I just really wanted to go into detail with showing off my characters. Wait, what are you saying? Bro, imagine hearing that thing at night. Yeah, I can get that it's probably going to be terrifying for some people. Ioni! Hey! she She's like running off. Hey, Ioni! Stop! Stop! I'm not going to be on that long because I got, you know, my fan fiction to write. And my friend Alicia gave me new ideas for the regular show, Regular Life Crossover. It was going to be about Chad going back in time to prevent the sabotage from happening. Now it's going to be him using the time machine, but it goes to an alternate timeline where he and Jeremy are co-workers, but they're not working together. Props goes to Alicia Lee, my best friend, who gave me this idea. It's going to feel more like a regular show episode. I 
I still gotta wipe her down, you know, disinfect her with the disinfecting wipes. And since I got Ioni as a micro pet, I might as well get her as a budsy in April. I'm waiting for the day that either GalaxyCon or Wizard World does a regular show, um, chat, I guess. That gives me a better chance to talk to J.G. Quintel. I already talked to Roger Craig Smith like three times. Have you ever thought of streaming the fan fiction? Streaming it? Or something along the lines of that? Wow. That's a new one. She's like, what? That is Ioni. She responds to sound. See the way... There's some guy called Joe Bean. He did videos on micro pets when he was young. And he still currently has a lot of these animatronic robots running around. In the videos, like reading it on stream or video, you kind of writing it. Reading it? No, I'm not. Why would I have a live stream? Why would I have a live stream like reading that? I'm not going to say said Jeremy in a live stream. But I could show you guys where to find it if you guys want to check it out. I've been recommending regular life ever since I wrote Jeremy in the movie. I sent it to some people that worked on regular show. That being William Sailors. He and Roger Craig Smith, even though they're voice actors, put likes on there. And yeah, there's also Ryan Pequa and Calvin Wong that put likes on my tweets. But still, no sign of J.G., all I want is for JG Quilts to put at least one like on one of my tweets. Okay, JG Quintel. His name is JG Quintel. James Garland Quintel, but... It sounds like Dell Laptops. It's gonna be hard for me to say that. Seriously, and it kind of tough. KK, I don't know what to show it to others, lol. I mean, you can go to DeviantArt or go to Wattpad... It's being on a construction of proofreading before it hits fanfiction.net. Now, Jeremy the Movie and Hard Life are on there. And it keeps getting bashed by those people who don't like Jeremy. And they say, why are you reposting it? Well, I deleted it before because of bad criticism. And I wanted to bring it back for the 5th year anniversary. Which was regular show's 10th anniversary. I apologize if I talk fast. That's kind of a thing. Still excited that I finally did a thing in the new Crash game. I beat the bots and I got first place. It's those runs in the game. Somebody by the name of Bite Cloud, I guess, or something like that. You don't need to listen to the haters, lol. I know, but but I know haters gonna hate, but. This, this stuff has been going on for so long, bro. It's like my space bar is broken, lol. It's just, I try to not listen to those people, but it, it's just, regular life can never catch a break. It's gonna have its haters. Even the guy in the crash suit said, when, like, advertising the game, his new game. Wait, what? You watched Whole Drama Island? Yes. Oh, you saw Chris McLean? I've been binge watching Toll Drama Island on YouTube and on the YouTube channel. I'm one of those few people that actually likes Toll Drama All Stars. Uh, you okay, Ioni? Nice. Is she running low on battery? Bro, me too. I 
Daddy, stop! I hear an ice cream truck. Stop! Stop! I said stop! Ioni, stop! Ioni! I'm trying to tell her to stop. She's not listening to me. Would you cut it out? Stop! Stop! I'm trying to listen to a ice cream truck here. Stop! Pakatu Island. You'll watch it later. I skipped all stars in Pakatu. Ioni has committed a war crime. What? No, she wouldn't do that. Ioni is the sweetest, nicest character. She's like the pops of regular life. The one that could do no wrong. Here's a link to Redonculus Race. Say, Redonculus Race, isn't that with a different host, Don? I watched that on Cartoon Network. And I, and I kept questioning, where's Chris? I know we had cameos, like, in the first and last episode, but... I, I miss Chris! I like Chris. Bro, hold up. Wait, what? Bro, hold up. What? Why did I do that thing for Snoop Dogg? Why did I do that? What's happening with those eyes? That's just how it works. The glowing means that it's working. The only way to turn her on is if you press this button. By the way, it's not total drama, it's a whole different show. It's a spin-off, but there's total drama characters in it. And total drama Rama has Jude from 16 as a kid because he's voiced by the same person that did Chris McLean. There's a dog called Mashi. <laughs> There's literally a dog called Mashi. Mashi, Bongo, Siren, Kuma. Wait, Kuma? I know it's another name for Bear. I never watched 16. It was on Cartoon Network. She did it again. This is the one I had. I remember having this one. Chumsley. My 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 phone's kind of acting all weird. There we go. There's Chumsley and Bob. Ah! I already no 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 no. What are you? You she was she was trying to fall off the the drawer thingy. No, Ioni, you are going to fall if you do that. What are you trying to perform, Harakiri? What was your favorite tall drama season? I would say the first one. She moved. <laughs> yep. She responds to noise. I like Total Drama Action too. Beth is my favorite character. I loved Owen. Ah! I watched Packa 2 and All Stars before, but now I look back at it after Total Drama World Tour, things got crazy. Yeah, C Chris kind of was more insane. Like,. If you watched All Stars in the beginning, you wonder, dude, what's up with this guy? He crashed. But my favorite was Total Drama Action. I don't know why. Harold was my favorite in Total Drama Action. Yeah, I like Harold. He's he's cool. When you play with your micro pets, always call his name. If your microphone has a different reaction, for example, flashing his eyes and making sound. He might have misunderstood you. I'm not calling it Bongo! Ioni's better! But Ridonculus Race was nice too. 
Yeah. Um, I think as you can see, you see that Jeremy's my wallpaper. And you can see him putting Mordecai in a headlock because that's one of my highlight favorite highlights I've replaced. The best were the Goths and Noah. I haven't seen, I think I've seen Pocket 2 Island, but my, my memory is a little cloudy. There's Toll Drama Riki, was it? Or, yeah, Toll Drama Riki. He says he doesn't like the character Dave. Is there a reason why people hate Dave? He looks like Mike. He didn't get enough screen time. Ioni's just going off. Riki? Toll Drama Riki. His name is Toll Drama Riki. He does. His favorite character is Courtney. I think he said that's his favorite villain. Okay, I'm a little scared. Are the batteries running out already? Come on, Ioni. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm getting into my wallet. Okay. You like my bear? No. <gasps> Rude. People hated Dave, but not Mike. I like Mike and Zoe. Bro, Mike and the red hair were what made me dislike those two seasons. Eh, they were fine. I liked Mike and Zoe. No offense, I think they were a cute couple. But I do wish that Gwen and Trent was a thing. Until they completely destroyed his character and told drama action. Eh. Mike was kind of too extra. Dave looks a little bit like Mike. And Zoe was too optimistic. Bro, Trent was put in the dirt. Yeah. I liked him better in Toll Drama Island. That's all I'm saying. This is why I don't like love romance stuff. It, and this is the thing that happened in regular show. The darn romance stuff love romance stuff it completely took a turn for the worst it was fine for the first few seasons but seasons five to six they really had too many love episodes especially with season six if you guys don't know season six is the worst season of regular show bad terrible episodes romance stuff and it has the worst episode and Gwen was absolutely horrible in action and after I know, right? Yeah, what happened to Gwen? I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. It's just electronic, that's all. I wish Mordecai never dated anybody. But then he would never find happiness. If you don't know, the worst episode of Regular Show, in my opinion, is Merry Christmas Mordecai. It's like the Lord Voldemort of Regular Show, the episode that should not be named. Or never say that episode's name. It's that bad. I mean, Gwen legit betrayed Trent and legit betrayed Trent when she knew she was dating somebody. Which one? Wait, what? I'm talking about... Oh my god, Merry Christmas, Mordecai. The one with the white bear? Jeez, Ioni, stop roaring! When you said white bear, I was looking at the Ioni micro pet. 
You're, you're basically going to see a lot of my Jeremy's in here. Highlight to my channel, I always legit show Jeremy. Yeah, there's a few streams where I don't show Jeremy or say his name. But he's been a huge highlight to my channel. And 2012 when I was still in high school. <clears throat> I don't think you're gonna like... Like if I talk too much about this character? LOL. What? I'm obsessed with Jeremy, okay? It's my special interest. I have Asperger's. Pikachu may have been the longest loving obsession I had, but Jeremy tops the one obsession where I drew a lot of drawings of. I have like a whole folder. There's like tons of Jeremy's in their scores. I don't know how many there are, but there's about hundreds of them. From high school to college and the more recent ones. I'm going to prove to you right now that Jeremy was the best one. I mean, go to DeviantArt. It's swarming with Jeremy's. Ioni, are you okay? KK. She's like, she keeps making that sound. If I keep talking, she's gonna respond. Ah, she, she did it again. <laughs> you did it again, you Mordecai chat. <laughs> who's, who's laughing now, you Mordecai chat? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to improve my grades bad. I have two B's right now. Well, at least you didn't fail. A B is not so bad. If you want to do better than you can, I mean, a B is still good. Ioni, you can stop now. Oh my god, how do you turn this thing off? Uh, is there a way? Only when he flashes his name is a sign that you recognize his name. Still, though. If your marker pad has a different reaction, for example, flashing his eyes to make a sound, he might have un misunderstood you. He? Why are you calling it a he? It's a girl! Tommy, it's a girl! It's a girl! Do you not see the eyelashes on the bear? <laughs> that's what it, that's the sound a bear makes. By the way, try taking the batteries out. I don't know if I can do that. Well, I'ma head offline to do classes. LOL. You do that. Thanks for stopping by, Mako. I don't know. I'll ask Dad to put in batteries. What kind of batteries does this bear need? Are they like the, what the circular ones? Are they connected? Oh, see you, Mako. I gotta stop listening to Bar Rescue when I'm running episodes of RL. <laughs> I like Bar Rescue. I'll I'll do that later. Right now I'm just talking. Batteries included. Could you at least tell me what batteries Oh 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 my oh my gosh Um Well they are circular batteries. 
they're not Duracell, they're not Energizer, they're just circles. You gotta be kidding me. Circular batteries, the one that counterfeits use on their electronic toys. The bootleg stuff. I only slowing down. There's no option to turn them off. They respond to voice. Instructions. Do they know how to turn her off? Do they? To turn Bongo off, hold down the same button for five seconds. Ioni! Ioni! The name is Ioni. To turn Ioni off, hold down the same button for five seconds until she sings her goodbye song. Goodbye? This is the signal to you that it is okay to lift your finger off of the button and that has turned off. She will continue to sleep until you press the button again to restart. So, I only goes into sleep mode. Okay. Well, you heard what they said. I wonder what her goodbye song is like. It better not be sad. Okay, press down. Great! Now I feel bad for turning her off. Well, that's that. Now that Ioni's turned off, I gotta wipe her down, disinfect it with the disinfecting wipes in the box, and then get back to running episode 39, Sea of Plastic. Uh, maybe I should redraw the cover because I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, it looks fine when you look at it, no complaint yet. It looks like regular show, but Ioni's eyes, they look way too weird. Her ears look like she looks like a koala. Chad's eyes are kind of traumatized. What is up with Jeremy? And I tried drawing a paddle boat. And I don't think it works. And the plastic items look like they're ghosts. Yeah, you can see that I need to go back to the drawing board. I have not been doing plot diagrams for regular life as I just come up with the ideas and just brainstorm them all in my mind. Well, no more. From this day forward, all regular life episodes are to have plot diagrams. And this is a reminder. For the remainder of the episodes. Yes, I know. I know. It arrived. It arrived. I got it. I got it. You said the 25th, again the 24th. So yeah, I'm going to be using plot diagrams for the remainder of regular life. And that includes one hour specials, movies, and their finale. But don't worry, all the episodes do have all that stuff. Exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. There's like all this stuff that happens in between and everything like that. Like, I didn't need it to begin with, but now that I see that I kind of need it now to continue on with RL, and possibly Clutch Redemption, a Guardians of Gahul fan fiction I've been trying to write, but it's been a hiatus for the longest time, plot diagrams are the way to go. And I should have used this a long time ago. Is it too late to fix them? Well, I could proofread them, but if I add changes and updates and stuff like that, that's just going to be more time wasted on those and not the episodes I'm currently writing. Which is why I've been doing that on Wattpad and DeviantArt, proofreading the regular life episodes instead of going back to the one that needs to be written before a said deadline. 
I gotta get the crossover done before April 16th. I'm reaching a deadline. And that's the worst part. When you have something planned. And then there's like somebody else on DeviantArt that's doing their own take with Chad and Jeremy. I don't see it as competition. I just see it as finally there's somebody else that's doing Jeremy stuff. Yeah, this Jeremy from Regular Show. What are you gonna do? I better head off right now. I got the fan fiction to write later.